Hi there, my name is Imran and I do technical support for Hubble Lithium. Today I will be showing you guys how to connect an expert type inverter and a Hubble battery using a CloudLink. Disclaimer guys, please make sure that when you are installing a high voltage system like these that there is a qualified electrician on site always. Um, expert type inverters is just a umbrella term used to describe inverters that use the same protocol. Examples of expert type inverters would be Kodak, Synergy, Synapse, um, focus, but in this case we're using focus. When you receive your cloud link, you will receive it in a box like this. Inside you will get your Hubble cloud link and all the necessary cables to go along with it. So on the underside of the cloud link, you will find a serial number and a special code. This is the code that I will use as a reference to log into your cloud link to do remote support. And the cool feature on the cloud link is that it has magnets on the bottom as well, so you can just let it show there in the meantime. In the box you will receive three types of cables. You will receive a RJ11 to RJ45 cable, you will receive a CAN cable, and you will receive a standard power cable. With an expert inverter, the CloudLink can get power from the RJ45 to RJ11 cable with a red boot on the one end. I advise you to set up the CloudLink using this cable first. If the CloudLink doesn't get power from this cable, you can use the standard power cable. What I'm about to do now is I'm going to plug the RJ45 cable into the RS232 port on the inverter and the other end will go into the S port of the cloud link. As you guys can see, I've gotten power through my serial cable plugged into the RS232 of the inverter. Therefore, I will no longer need this cable. So you can store this away for when you're looking to buy your second cloud link. I've already put my CAN cable through the trunking. So what I'm gonna do is I will plug the CAN cable into the CAN port of the cloud link and the other end will go into the CAN port of the master battery. Always make sure that when you're trying to get communication using the cloud link or any communication, whether it's expert or sensing, that you activate the dip switch. Before doing any sort of device cleaning, please make sure that you have started an account with us. To do so, you can go onto our website at ablithium.co.za. On the website, you can navigate to CloudLink, and in the drop-down, you will see CloudLink Portal. If you click on CloudLink Portal, it will take you directly to where you need to log on. Once you've gotten to that screen, it will prompt you for a password and an email address. In the bottom of that screen, there's a little option that says Sign Up. Once you've clicked on Sign Up, just fill in the necessary details and then and the card will be created. So to put the clouding into configuration mode, we will be holding the M button until we hear two beeps. There you go. It might take anywhere from 10 to 20 seconds for the clouding to go into config mode. Once the clouding is in configuration mode, three lights will start flashing. You can put your Wi-Fi on on your phone. I'm doing it on my phone, but you can also do it on your laptop you can connect to the cloud link like you would connect to a router. You will see the cloud link appear on the available networks you can connect to. Once you've connected to the cloud link, it will give you an option of whether or not you want to keep that connection and you say yes, keep connection. You can hit the little settings gear to the right hand side of the nameplate and once, once that next page appears, you can go into manage router and it will take you into the cloud link. Once you've gone into the manage router option, you will see the cloud link information appear. In the top right corner, you can select the three lines, which I like to call a burger. You will see a drop-down menu, and you can then navigate to Wi-Fi settings. You can hit scan results, and that will scan all the available networks in your surrounding area. The strongest Wi-Fi connection will come up as the lowest negative number. If you've identified which one of the available networks is yours, if you click on it, it will prompt you for a password. Please make sure that you are punching the correct password as the password is very sensitive to caps and numbers. After hitting save, that will lock your password in. And then in the top right corner, you can, the three, you can hit the three lines and then say exit configuration mode. Once you've done it, we'll ask you, are you sure you want to exit config mode? And you can hit yes. Make sure that when you do the configuration that you do it in a time no longer than five minutes as the clouding will go back to its normal state to which you will then have to go back into the configuration mode and do the entire process again. 
Once you've logged into the portal using the account that you've created, in the top left section, you will find a button called Dashboard. And to claim a device, click on that button and scroll down to Device Claim. To claim a device, you will need two things, device name and device serial number. Once you've filled in the necessary field, you can then hit Claim Device. After hitting Claim Device, it will tell you that your device has been successfully claimed. You can claim one device per email, but if you wish to have more than one device under your email address, you can contact support and we can manually move it for you. You can now directly access the cloud link through the portal. But once you've accessed the cloud link, you can then access the device settings where you will tell the cloud link what it is connected to. I will now go into the cloud link using the portal. I'll click on the three lines in the top right. Here. This will then take me into the cloud link. Once in the clouding, I click on the burger in the top right and navigate to device settings. We will have to tell the cloud link what it is connected to. So we can say can connected to battery, done, and serial connected to expert forward slash Voltaris inverter, done. Once we've punched those details in, we can say save. Are you sure you want to upload these settings to the device? Yes, and then we can reboot. So once it gives you this window, it will say it's rebooting and you can now close this window. Thereafter, your data will start graphing. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you found this tutorial helpful, please comment down below what you'd like to see next and keep a lookout for more videos to come.